Hey, good morning, guys. Mike here, Affluent Journeys. We are in Kalaipia, Lithuania. It's only about uh, 60 or 80 miles or so from Kaliningrad, where my friend is uh, from. He's on the cruise with me. This is really a big port. I mean, it goes all the way down there. See, they have some, uh, look like uh, resort buildings, maybe. Condo towers, church tower. The tour buses, they're all lined up uh, to take us on our tours. This morning we're doing the uh, uh, bike tour to the dunes. And tonight we haven't decided what we're going to do for dinner, but maybe Sete Mare, uh, the Italian venue here on board. So hope you enjoyed today's video, and uh, we'll get us started here. Here at the back deck, I think that's the Malta flag here on the back of the ship. And look at me, I got not one but two eggs Benedict. So we just got off the uh, Explorer and this is the uh, bikes that we all have from uh, Velo Nuomo Rent LT. And so we're all getting ready to go off for our three hour uh, tour here. Hope we make it back. So I didn't ride a bike in years, but I'm already going to know it. We are out of the uh, port area to uh, Mount Klaipeda here. Probably our ferry coming right there. We're just off the ferry, and look at this, we got this horse. Eating hay straight out of a huge bag. Never saw that before. I'm doing carriage rides here, it looks like. Cool looking uh, boats here. So basically at this point uh, we've lost the group and uh, the tour guide was going too fast and we got to a fork over there a ways ago with like three different ways we picked one way couldn't find anybody but there's two of our people there they're going back we're gonna take pictures here on the beach and I guess we'll make our way back no hotels no buildings nothing here all nature So we pretty much where we got lost, we went over that big hill. We ended up at the uh, wrong port, so now we gotta go all the way back along the river here, back towards the right uh, port and ferry. It's beautiful forest, like uh, rusty colored trees with the sun bouncing off of it. It's really nice. But our own tickets back, it's uh, 50 cents each. And we're 
on the uh, pretty bridge here in Klaipeda and Seven Seas Explorer right there guys. So interesting change of plans. Uh, we came back here to the port to drop off the bikes and the bike people aren't here and their trucks aren't here or nothing so we're gonna go back into town. This is a cool statue here. And look at this guys, they actually turned the bridge like that to close it so people can get their boats through the canal. So right now we're just going to ride around the old town for a bit. This is actually a restaurant. Some of the old pilings and nautical equipment. Beautiful day in Lithuania. I'm sure they don't get this year round. Someone's going to take advantage of it. Nice little uh, intersection. All the flowers planted here for the summer. And making our way back down to the port. We got a cool uh, motorcycle statue here. It's back down by the port over there. Now we just came down that road and look at the cobblestones here are really big. So make sure you can walk good. We've got a pretty uh, down square. market going on in the square today. It's about time for us to get back to the boat. Here in the market. Everyone's got their cool stands. This lady is making her own hand weave cloths here. Hello. So we got uh, Rimas and Rima, his wife. Yeah, well, and he's this beautiful uh, palette artist here, and I bought one of these. Similar to this one, but colors a little bit more like that one. And so now we really got to go back to the boat, we're a bit late. So now we get back here right at 2 o'clock. Sorry we're only staying here in Great uh, Lithuania for one day. Statues. But guess what, the bike company is back. So we're right on time. So we just took a nap by the pool deck and uh, that's it, we're leaving, uh, what town are we at here? I forgot, Lithuania today. That's the beach where we were earlier. And this beach goes all the way around, no buildings, nothing. Just nature. And we're off to uh, Riga tomorrow. Alright guys, we're uh, on our way to dinner tonight in Sete Mari from the Observation Lounge. We waited there while they called us. And behind me is the cruise director, he's wearing a kilt tonight. That's kind of funny. We're just getting seated here in Sete Mari and see some of the uh, wines that they have here. And the restaurant is absolutely packed tonight. We have open kitchen going on here. Let's see what kind of, oh, we got more Schoenwald flatware. And we'll have a look at the menu. Of course, we're here at La Veranda, it's at the back of the ship. And you can also eat al fresco when the weather is nice as well. Here's the menu for tonight, August 17. Appetizers here, soups, pasta, main courses, and a Large dessert selection. They're pouring a Chianti and a Escosa uh, tonight. Maybe I can pronounce it right. So here at Sete Mari, uh, basically all the appetizers, uh, antipasti, come out automatically. And right now we're at the uh, salad bar. You can see it's all special uh, Italian type of vegetable matter here. Roasted garlic heads, that looks really good. All different stuff here, and they have some uh, desserts here as well. Cannolis. Over here we have the uh, polenta pizzas, meatball mushrooms, eggplants, and of course the regular standard salad items here. So this is what we picked up off of the uh, salad bar. We got uh, our little appetizers here. Uh, Mom's favorite olives. And we 
got some bruschetta as well. Oh, I forgot to get one of those eggplant things. So I can try one of yours? All right, here's the uh, minestrone soup. As we have the uh, sunset coming close here. Let's try this out. Looks pretty full of juice. Let's see what we uh, think about it live and in person. Super hot, so make sure it's stirred up for a while. Not too salty, but uh, not bad. All right, for the next course, we got our uh, gnocchi. And of course, fresh uh, Parmesan cheese to come. Thank you. And our main courses are here. I got the uh, hidden swordfish here underneath the uh, pasta tomato sauce. And Noria has the chiopino, which looks absolutely excellent. And now we chow down here. All right, so it's definitely a meaty and fresh swordfish that's good to have on a cruise. But still moist and hot. Really flavorful. I haven't had a swordfish in a long time, so that's a real treat. You like the chiopino? She likes the swordfish too. Okay, so we got some uh, beat up looking tiramisu from the buffet, but it looks good. Mascarpone stuff here with coffee in it. Some uh, cookies and a little bit more of the same looking cookies here. That's the dessert. Alright, well that was it for Sete Mari. The verdict on the uh, main course was the swordfish was the best thing. She, uh, we thought the chipino looked really great, but she didn't care for it all that much. And then for the desserts, we have what you saw there, and that was pretty good. I think uh, she liked the mascarpone the best. So that's going to be it for tonight, guys. Thanks again for watching. If you haven't already, make sure to like the video, subscribe to Affluent Journeys here on YouTube. That helps me a lot. I'm a luxury travel agent. If you want to see my cruise deals, make sure to like Affluent Journeys on Facebook. Put all my special deals, including on Regent, there. And then what else? Make sure to follow me on Instagram, Affluent Journeys as well. All the same. Uh, name across most of the social media channels. You can see uh, some video shorts and other things I'm doing here from our Great Baltics cruise. So that's it for tonight. Thanks again for watching and stay tuned for the next one.